Hello, welcome back. Second installment of decorative file work on knife spines or whatever you want to put it on. Anyway, so in today's video, we're going to do probably sodden. Why are you flickering? This place is haunted. Yeah, so it kind of looks like, like, like chain or Celtic knot work or whatever you want to call it. And this is the first time of me trying this, and it turned out pretty good. The only issue I had was everything. I sanded this thing down probably five or six times and I had to start over because if you mess up once it completely destroys the entire look of it which sucks. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh, it's a little bright. There we go. Okay, so first off, this is 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. Flatten this off and this is the middle, 3.3. .3. So get a middle point. That side. That side, do this again. Okay, that's the middle. Now, I'm gonna have to drill holes right down the middle at exact increments, otherwise the whole chain look is gonna be all weird. So what I'm, what I'm figuring is, is the size of the drill bit has to be a third of the thickness. So 6.6 .6 divided by three. My math I'm in that and addicts tells me it's 2.2 millimeters. That's an excessively small drill bit. Let's see if I can find one. Close as I can find, I think. So let's just try that. This tip's broken, so I'll have to use my drill doctor and fix this up. There. I'm just gonna split the tip and she'll be good. Okay, let's test out this newly sharpened bit. Nice little hole, almost through. Okay, of course I forget to hit record. Anyway, 6.6 .6 is the thickness of the stock, so I'm just gonna keep the link size at 6.6. .6. So I made a mark there, then on that one there, flipped it over to that one, put the mark in. Same with that one, put the mark in. So I'm just gonna use a punch and punch in some holes so I can get the drill bit in to drill nice and straight. Stop jumping all over the place. There they are. Let's go drill them. Next question is, how deep am I going to drill these? So let's supersize this. I want to take just the tip in, but now after sanding and stuff, you're going to lo lose some of that depth. So I'm just going to go, come on, focus. I'm going to go just past the tip on that one. There they are. So on each and every one of these holes, you need to connect. So right there, and then on the opposite side, connect there. So that's where I'm gonna file. That's what I'm gonna do next. On each and every one of these. So on this side of this one, and here. Oh, I love this new phone. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna file those in and see what happens. Boy, let me tell you, I have sanded this thing down probably about three or four times now. Okay, over on these, let's zoom in. Out a little bit. Okay. So you have to keep this staggered. If this thing goes into the middle, holy. if you sand it and it hits the middle, or file it and it hits the middle, it messes up the entire look. 
So each and every single one of these has to hit your drill holes on the side. I'm going to go and do the other side. I just put the marks in with my little eye shape file. Half round, half round type deal. So. Then, after that, if I get the divots or these uh, little file marks in nice and deep, I will use my triangle file and I will try to hit these right there. See that little triangle sticking out? I'm going to try and file that in, try and get rid of that. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'll figure it out. Starting to look like something, that's for sure. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. I'll show you guys something. So, I've been using this triangle file on all of these. So, what I'll do is I made my mark with my little half round or eye shape or whatever you call it. This one. And I would go right in where I started and I would make sure I'm even with the line I did there like that I'd file but I put most of the pressure in there like you can see right at that angle like that looks awesome okay I'm almost at this last one here triangle file guys and gals that's the way to go let me tell you right now this works great Ooh, don't do that okay and I'm trying to get into these black lines so I'll put them in where it was and then line that up Line that up and start filing it that way. Ooh. Whoa, look at that. That's incredible. Let's turn this around. Come on, I know I'm excited. Calm down. Let's do this side. Well, what I think I'll do is, instead of using a file and standing here for the next four hours, I'm just gonna use my Dremel and a little carbide bit maybe, I don't know which one. Okay, I'm back with a carbide cutter. Well, not a carbide, just a wood one. Um, I can't find my carbide cutter. It's somewhere, I only have this round one and that's not gonna work. Carbide cutter, um, the one I'm looking for is flat at the top. Just like this one, that's not meant for metal. Okay, wow, that took some concentration. I wanna show you guys something cool now. Okay, it's not done, but let's go polish this up and see what happens. Okay, you guys ready for this? So this is what this would look like if it was gun blue. But, three, two, one. Come on, focus. That looks amazing. Now, can you imagine that on the spine of a knife when it focuses one day? There it is. That looks awesome. Okay, let's wrap this up. Okay, so I only lost my mind about five times. Um, this was, like it turned out amazing. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks incredible. I love it, I love the look of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll take all the other ones I did and I'll cut slots in a piece of wood and I'll make a nice display piece and if anyone contacts me, I'll send them a picture of it and see if they want some decorative file work on their handle. This one specifically, I'm gonna put in a box and mail it to help. 
So anyway guys, I hope you guys had a really good day and enjoyed this video. Please throw the click on the like button there, down there somewhere, whatever. Um, yeah, good luck. We'll need it.